<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the hacks box today I have a very very exciting video for you guys So today I'm going to show you guys how to install the long-awaited Delta emulator Completely free without a dev account or anything like that without a jailbreak on iOS 9 and iOS 10 on your iPhone iPad and iPod touch this is the best emulator out there. All right, now before I start, what is Delta? Delta is an emulator, it's a multi-emulator, and it's by the same maker of GBA for iOS. Guys, it has a beautiful interface, the performance is great, and as of right now, it works with SNES and can also play GBA games. So right now it's only Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance, but more console support will be coming in the future. Things like N64 and so many more other consoles will be added to this emulator. So anyways, so, so cool right now it's in beta but you can get it early without any type of exclusive access and i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that right now okay so as of right now you will need a computer but guys it is so worth it and as soon as there's a way to get it without a computer i will make a new video or i'll simply put a link down below inside the description i'll think about it but anyways guys delta is amazing and stick around because i will be showing you guys some gameplay how it performs and yeah you will need one of these and a computer and of course what you want to do first is plug your device into your computer just like that okay and we are now plugged in all right so now hop onto your computer you will need two things the first one is a program to basically install the app delta on your device this is it right here completely free so city impact if i go ahead and zoom in you guys can see right here we have download links for mac os x windows linux 32 bit and linux 64 bit so go ahead and download accordingly i have mac so i'm gonna click on mac and we're going to start the download and once it's done you'll get a dmg file right here you're going to double click on it and open it up and and you will get this right here. I'm just going to go and drag and drop it. And I already have this in my apps folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. But that's how to do it on Mac. Now, if you are on Windows, the step's a little bit different. To extract it, once you go and download the file, you will also need a program called 7-Zip. And once you've installed 7-Zip on your computer, you want to right-click on the file. It'll say 7-Zip and click on Extract here. And then you will be good to go. So now if we go ahead and open up City Impact again on my Mac, it's going to be in my Applications folder right here. So I'm going to go in and look for it. There it is. What you want to do is on both Mac and Windows, right click on it, and then click on open. Simple as that, and now it will open up right over here. Of course, if you get this message, just click on open once again, and here we are. So this is a program. You guys can see that my device is connected, and this is exactly what you want right here. Also, if iTunes is open, go ahead and close out of it because you do not want iTunes to be open, so close out of it quit you only want Cydia impactor to be open so we've got Cydia impactor our device is connected now all we need is the delta application so here it is right over here this website was just updated to have the delta application so there it is right here just go ahead and click on download after scrolling down there is delta and there you go the download has started now the speeds are pretty good of this download as you guys can see right here but it will vary depending on your internet speed but guys once it's done you can exit out a browser that is all you need and here is the file that we downloaded it's a .ipa file for delta again this is in beta right now so all you want to do is take this file drag it over city impactor and then drop it now it'll prompt you to enter your apple ID. Just use any. You can even create a new one if you want to, just to be safe. But this is 100% safe, so you don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in mine, click on OK, and now type in your password. And once again, click on OK. Now all you have to do is wait. It'll go ahead and sign and verify the application and put it on your device. So it'll go and install in a blank spot on your newest page. And it's going to wait. Let's verify the application and boom, there it is. Now guys, if City Impact does give you any error, first make sure that you did type in your Apple ID and password correctly. If you still get an error, then that means you have two-step verification enabled on your Apple ID. So you want to disable two-step verification. I'll have a link down below on how to do that instructions. But yeah, those are easy errors to fix. And now you can go ahead and exit out of Impactor and unplug your device from your computer. You won't be needing that anymore. Now guys, once you go to tap on it, it will say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. So to fix that, what you want to do do is go ahead and open up settings general scroll down tap on profiles and device management and go all the way to the bottom where you'll see your apple id go to tap on it and guys there is delta now there will be a trust button right there tap on trust 
and then in a pop-up tap on trust again and then it will be verified so then you can open it on your device and it will work perfectly fine let's go to open this up and guys here is delta now if you go and tap on the settings on the top left you guys can see my iphone name and again right now it only supports super nintendo and game boy advance but more support for consoles will be coming soon you can change the controller opacity right there so now right now 70 percent which i think is perfect and you also got skins so if you tap on super nintendo you guys can see that we have some cool skins that you could choose and again there will be more in later releases of delta but anyway, let's go to Game Boy Advance, and again, same thing over here, cool themes. Now, how do you get games? Now, if you tap on this plus button, the app does crash, but I did find a workaround. You don't really need that. All you need is Safari. So, go ahead and open up Safari, and by the way, if you want some wallpaper, I will be on my Twitter page. We're going to go to the website, Emu Paradise. The link will be down below inside the description, but this is where we're going to be downloading our ROMs or games for Delta. So, let's go ahead and tap on the search. I typed in Mario, let's go ahead and hit search, and there we go, we get a ton of results. Now, as you guys see right here, we have every console selected, so what we want to do is tap on this show slash hide button, and select SNES and GBA, so, so just like that, and then only those ROMs will show up, so let's go ahead and scroll down, so we got Super Mario, Super Mario Kart, I'm, I think I'm gonna do that, we're going to download more too, but right now, let's go ahead and do Super Mario Kart, let's tap right there, so just want to scroll down, and there on number 7, we can see download link, so tap on that link right there. If you don't see the orange download link, go ahead and scroll up or down, and there it is, direct download links. Go ahead and tap on that link, it'll bring you to this page, go ahead and scroll down once more. Tap on the orange download link again under direct downloads, and this is what we want. Now what you want to do is tap on more, scroll over until you find import with Delta. Tap on import with Delta and it will go ahead and open up inside the Delta application. So guys, here it is, and all the sound and everything works perfectly fine. I'm so excited to play this. Let's go ahead and tap on it. Sometimes you do do a little ar album art cover, kind of like a little picture, but there it is, guys. Look, you can play like this or like this. Let's go ahead and hit. Cool. We can go ahead and choose our character. Oh my God, this is so nostalgic. Oh my God, this is amazing, guys. I am so excited for all the games to play on this. Let's go ahead and just do a uh, Star Cup race. Oh, okay, look at this map. Alright, oh my god, how did I play when the screen was this pixelated before? Okay, but this is so cool. Oh, the buttons again do have haptic feedback, meaning that they do vibrate every time you press on them, and it feels really, really nice. Feels like an actual button, kinda, and I do like that a lot, so look at this, guys. Again, you can play like this too if you want to. Oh, <laughs> swim in the water. I need that. Okay. Oh my god, this performance is great. And again, the sound is perfect. So to exit the game, all you have to do is tap on the menu button on the bottom left. You can go ahead and save the game, load a certain save state. You got even got cheat codes. You can fast forward to like in Pokemon where you don't want to listen through the entire dialogue. And so let's go to main menu in red. So there we are. All right, so I'm downloading Zelda. This is going to be cool. So let's go to more. Again, we want to go and swipe over until we see import with Delta. And there we go. Now we do get the little album art. I don't know why I keep on saying album, but you guys know what I mean, the little cover art. Oh, and this does support landscape mode too, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just tap on this to open it up. And again, okay, this is it's gonna be so, so cool. I love that the buttons do vibrate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so cool. Oh my, I can't wait to play this whole game again on my iPhone. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so excited. Downloading games is so easy. All you do is tap on the links. Tap on right here. Go and swipe. Open. Okay, we Sony X out of here real quick. What the heck? Where is it? Wait, hold on. Looks like we have multiple pages. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. So I guess you can move them around too. Don't know, but you can also share it. Not sure how to move around. But again, you got that little picture. Let's go and tap on it. And this one is for a Game Boy. I thought I'd do a GBA as well. Might as well cover both, right? And the screen's a lot bigger. Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like I downloaded like a Japanese or Chinese version, but... I mean, you don't really have to read in Mario, so... What's the big deal? Nothing. Oh god. Okay, that was close. Let's go ahead and just... What is that? Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh! Missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is cool. 
I'm just, I was just so amazed by that I'm playing this on my iPhone. All right, so there you have it, guys. So many games are available with Delta. This has put a huge smile on my face. So nostalgic. Really hope you guys enjoy this. As always, please be sure to hit that like button and also be sure to get subscribed so don't miss out on any future content. But yeah, guys, love you. Peace out.